store. We gonna get some items? Looks like nothing's changed. Except that it's already dusk. Yeah. Pretty shade of orange, isn't it? Ugh, <sighs> this is no time to admire the view. Dusk is always so lonely. Huh? What do you think, Ko? Nothing, one way or the other. Though it does make me wonder. Hmm? Wonder what? Where did that lady get off to? Which lady? You know. The one in the orange clothes. With the ego the size of Tokyo. Oh, you mean Saki. Was that her name? Are you worried about her? Don't get the wrong idea. I just thought about her because of this obnoxious orange sky, that's all. She was a friend of yours, wasn't she? A friend, huh? Well, wasn't she? Not was, is. She's still our friend. Still your friend after all she's done? Have you not been paying attention? She has her reasons for everything she's done. Sure, she can be overbearing sometimes, but that's just because she puts her all into doing what she feels is right. I wonder where she is, and what she's doing right now. She still hasn't been found? No, we still have no idea where she might be. I see. <sighs> what has you so glum all of a sudden? Oh, sorry. I was just wondering what Saki would do at a time like this. Hmm. So tell me, what would she do? Just what we're doing now. She's with me. Even now, she's with me. Is she now? You bet she is. Come on, let's keep on searching Akiba. Legwork's the key to any good investigation. Ah, <sighs> well, that was a waste of time. Maybe. No sign of the Freedom Fighters anywhere, either. You don't think they've... just not noticed the Electronics Delusion yet, do you? One sec, Nippity's calling. Asahi? Is he on the move? Uh, well, I don't know about on the move, but he has left work for the day. He's gone home. Huh. Already? I followed him from a safe distance, though, so now I know where he lives. Should I keep watching him? A little creepy, but... Wait, how are things on your end? Nothing's panned out so far, sadly. And we haven't seen hide nor hair of the Freedom Fighters. Does that mean they're not even on the case, do you think? Can't think of any other reason. Hmm, I wonder why not. Maybe we should just ask. Wait, what? Sorry, Mippity. I've been talking to myself a lot lately. Mind joining back up with Ko for now? I've got one place in mind that I'd like to check out on my own. I'll get back to you again in a bit. What are you talking about? What place? Uh, sorry, Ko, but I'd like you to join up with Ryu and Yamato ahead of me. I'll be back in a jiffy. Yeah? Wait, stop! Well, we've been tossed aside! Boss, what happened here? Oh, Asahi. It was him. He came and attacked us. Him? Who's him? Are you all right? The, the pink man. Delusion contractor cannon. 
What? Hey, are you okay? Speak to me. Dang it, boss. You shouldn't tease Asahi like that. Not cool, boss. Akari? Aoi? What's going on here? Boss ate too many kebabs. He was really shoveling them down. I've never seen a man so excited to consume kebabs. What? Are you seriously telling me he's down for the count from overeating? <laughs> we love Akihabara and we fight for Akihabara. Ain't nothing in our statement that goes against kebabs. Worrying about you is a mistake. Well, fun's over. You wouldn't have come here solo if you didn't have something important to talk about, would you? Is it about our sub-boss? It's actually not this time. Which means it's gotta be about the source of the new consumer electronics delusion. Uh. <laughs> Eloquence is silver, but stupefied silence is gold. And there's gold in them thar hills. <laughs> Asahin is gold! He sparkles! He's rich! Kari, you might want to take a page out of Asahi's book here. You've been leaking way too much of our info. Which actually ain't a big deal, because as you can see, Asahi, we got nothing. Totally in the dark this time. So you're not chasing down the source of the electronics delusion? <laughs> Come on. You know us better than that by now. No reason not to chase him down, and no reason not to smash him. In fact, I bet you 10 yen my right-hand man's just about found our deluser now. You've got Mizuki hunting the source of the delusion? <laughs> Guess you better get moving, huh? Wouldn't want him to get there first. No, we would not. See you around, boss. Actually, hold up a sec. Do you still think of Mizuki as a friend? Even after all this? What? friend, huh? I... Certainly didn't take you long to make new friends. Sounds like they're waiting on you. Big surprise. I don't care if they're waiting. I'm talking to you right now. I have nothing to talk about. <sighs> Hello? Remember us? Ko? When I call, you are to answer within two rings. I was nice this time, but next time, I'm hanging up after one. Sorry, sorry. So what's the story? That's my line. Where the hell are you? How long do you plan on keeping me waiting? Oh, right, yeah. My bad. We're all waiting by the electronics delusion. Get over here, now. Wait, just listen for a sec. Oh, what, an excuse? Oh, I can hardly wait. It's not that. It's just I... Damn it! I told you to listen! Ugh, I better hurry back. Life isn't long enough to justify how long you kept us waiting. I will never forget you tossing me away like a used burger wrapper. Pink Hoon may forgive, but he does not forget. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't mind. It really wasn't that bad. So, where'd you go? Um, well... From excuses to secrets. Ugh. Let us off your mediocre roller coaster of deceit. I went to meet with the Freedom Fighters. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you bring us along, you oaf? I didn't do it to be mean. This would have been the perfect chance to exact my revenge. I hope you at least drove them to self-destruction while you were there. No, I didn't. Then why am I even talking to you? Ugh, the depths of your impotence continue to astound. Okay, so you met with the Freedom Fighters. Did you learn anything about the delusion? Or what they're up to? Yeah. Well, it's not much, but... I mean, it's something. The Freedom Fighters are definitely on this. 
but they seem to be chasing after something different than we are. That mean they think someone else is the deluser? Could it really be anyone other than Hahabu, though? That's seeming more and more likely. But this is the freedom fighters we're talking about. They were probably lying just to throw us off, the scum. I don't know if I see them going through that much trouble just to get us off their tail. Knowing their boss, I'd imagine he'd sooner challenge us to a fight directly than try a sneaky trick like that. Which is why I think they've figured something out already. Something that we just aren't seeing. Does this mean that we're going to resume our search for suspicious people? I wish it did, but it's about late enough that the Akiba crowds are starting to thin out. Meaning that we're done for the day. Alright, let's meet up here again tomorrow at the crack of noon. We should be able to speak with Hahabu again and find out if he's our deluser, too. Now that's a plan. Pat yourselves on the back, everyone. You've earned it. Long time no see. Not if you look at it calendar-wise. Oh yeah, short time no see, I guess. So Asahi, would you mind if I vented at you just a bit? Huh? Vent? At me? That's what I said. You're neat, so it's not like you don't have the time, right? There's no way I'm getting out of this without being vented at, is there? Oh, so you really don't have time? Oh, no, I do. Honestly, I don't even mind that much. The only thing waiting for me back home is my bed. And if you really want to vent that badly, something must have happened. So, what's the story? Well, you know those just one of those days, days? They don't stop when you're a grown-up. If you would, please just wait right there for a moment. What? Where are you going? Just wait there. Uh, okay. There we are. Sorry about that. All this adult talk got me thinking about adult beverages. Here you go. Cheers. Um, cheers. Ah, that hits the spot. Nothing else quite like a can of Chew High on a crisp December night. How come I only get a Mr. Pepper? Because only adults get to drink alcohol, dum-dum. Now, you ready for some vent explosion? <sighs> yeah, let's do this. If you're sad enough to vent to a lonely neat like myself, I'll take whatever you can dish. I've had a very good friend since way long ago. The old childhood friend trope, you could say. We always did everything together. We'd chase around a soccer ball in the schoolyard, play catch on the riverbank, that sort of thing. Those are some outdoorsy hobbies. My point is, we were together constantly since we first met in elementary school, through junior high and high school, too. We went to separate colleges, but we'd always meet up in Tokyo in the spring. So I always thought we'd be together forever. I don't like where this is going. In spring, we rode together on a single bike through roads lined with sakura trees in full bloom. In summer, we attended the Neighborhood Association's festival and tried to fire off some fireworks. Got the popo on us. In fall, we tried to roast up some sweet potatoes with fallen leaves and kind of triggered a small fire scare. And in winter, since it was so cold, we'd always always make snowmen together. And I thought we'd always continue on just like that. Forever and ever. So even though you were that close, you still... Time has a way of changing people. Maybe it was our environments catching up with us, I don't know. But whatever the case, as much as I wanted things to stay the same forever, they just didn't. They couldn't. We all grow up eventually. And when we do, we all end up walking our own roads. Would you say you're fighting with your childhood friend then? Don't know if you can even really call that a fight. More like a passing scowl. Trivial nonsense, really. And you don't think you two can make up? Hmm, don't know, maybe. I'd sure like to. Wait, what? Are you waiting for your friend to apologize to you or something? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I think I kind of messed up the story a little bit. But I really, really do want to make up. God, you're drunk already, aren't you? 
After one shoe high? <laughs> I'm fine. So Asahi, do you remember who I am yet? Huh? Uh, um... <sighs> can't believe you, but thank you. I feel a lot better getting all of that off my chest. I mean, all I did was sit here and listen, but I'm happy to do that whenever you need me to. I think it's about time you and I both head home now. I hope you're able to make up with your friend. You too, Asahi. Sorry, what? See you around. Me too. What's wrong? Could that have been... Yeah? figure out why. Hey, Mizuki, how about this? If you let me ride on your back, we'll get there way faster. This is a school road. We'll get in trouble. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, now up we go. How about you pedal, and I ride you piggyback instead? Yo, Mizuki, check it out! Is this not, like, the very picture of summer? Whoa, what the heck? Where did you get all those fireworks? The old man at the stand just gave them to me! Let's fire them off after the festival! Asahi, what did I tell you about going overboard? Better overboard than underboard, right? Nobody will notice if we set these off in the empty lot around back anyway. All right. But if the cops catch us, you're gonna have to bow and plead and apologize enough for both of us. Got it? What have you got there? You've got a ridiculous smile on your face, and that's never a good sign. Read them and weep, man. Sweet potatoes. We're gonna roast them up good. And where exactly do you plan on doing this? Don't tell me you're talking about that vacant lot again. Of course I am. There's a ton of fallen leaves there, so we'll have a fire going in no time. I can see where this is going. I'll go get some buckets ready, just in case of the inevitable. Where are your clothes? It's the dead of winter, man. At least wear a scarf. I'm fine in this. I'm like the sun. I generate my own heat. Then am I just imagining you shivering like a scared chihuahua? Yeah, you are. It's just your imagination. Uh, I'm not gonna let a little snow keep me down. Yeah, that's probably just a coincidence. It's gotta be. Yo, Asahi! Pink control to Major Asahi! What's gotten into you? Huh. Talk to me, dingus! Talk to me! Know what? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Good. Looks like the gang's all here. Don't you? Looks like the gang's all here, us. Especially when you're always the last to show up. Can you really expect anything else from a neat, though? If he were the first one here, I'd actually be worried. Can't argue with that. So what now, alarmless leader? Ko, you and I are off to talk to Hahabu again. Nippity and Yamato, you two keep watch around here. Roger, Dodger. Oh boy, more waiting around. Why am I stuck with you again today? Everyone know their roles? Good. Let's move out. Hey, I asked you a question. Hey!
judgment here. The era of electronics is eternal. My chosen path was not a mistake. Exact same as yesterday, word for word. So he's not the Deluser then? Let's talk to him just to be sure, but try to be discreet about it. Uh, huh? Now he's noticed us. At least have the decency to put your phone on vibrate. Who'd be calling me now anyway? Huh? Nippity? Asahi! Are you okay? What's going on? The Delusionscape entrance! It's appeared! What? It has? Whatever you two did, it must have worked. Ryu, don't move a muscle. We'll be right there. The entrance? Yeah. Come on, we have to hurry. Here, right here. That's an entrance, all right. But why did it appear? Uh-huh. It wasn't you two? Nope. Definitely not. We didn't have a chance to do anything. And Hahabu was repeating the exact same dialogue he said yesterday anyway. Why is this here, then? I'm guessing the real Deluser has been disturbed in some way. Well, at least we can cross Mr. Electronics off our suspect list. We've been after the wrong man this whole time. I'd say we lucked out, though. I don't think anyone else has gone in there yet. Then we'll be the first. One small step for Neat. Hold it. What is it, Cole? What do you plan on doing in there? Well... It's up to you whether to nullify or preserve it. Choose wisely. I have no idea. What kind of answer is that? The kind of answer that a guy who knows we can't let somebody else go in and destroy it gives. Now come on, everybody. Just 
don't. Die, please. Four of them! Let's take them out nice and quick! I'll be your time to light you up! Ignition! Die!
it should be. Enemy spotted! If you're gonna run, now 
What's your chance?
write the wrong file. Oh, I just had a psychic flash. There's treasure nearby, there is. You going through the door? Lights are on, but nobody's home. Well, aside from the Grand Phantasm, who seems very much okay. Then we made it in time. So what now? Do we just lie here and wait until the Freedom Fighters show up? That's right. We're not going to let them destroy this delusion. We have to stop them at all costs. Not a problem. Should they dare to get within 10,000 meters of this place, I'll tear them all limb from limb! System error! System error! This thing can talk? System error! System error! Yamato, look out! Ah! The Grand Phantasm has started to go bonkers on us! System error! System error! Ah! Go! System error! System error! <laughs> yeah! No! Pink Coon! System error! System error. Asahi, this is bad. We won't last if we stay in here much longer. But we have to... Ah! Mippity! System error. System error. If I destroy this thing, then the delusion goes with it. <laughs> hey, what do we do? Yamato, you're all right? Considering the circumstances, I don't think anyone's going to blame you. But... Yeah, I'll vouch for you on this one. We're all out of options, so hurry up and do something! I believe in you, Asahi! Besides, if this keeps up, we're all toast! <laughs> hey, Asahi. Yeah? What is it? Is it wrong to destroy people's delusions? Huh? If we don't do it... People are going to get hurt, and we won't be able to protect them. We know that. <laughs> Alright everyone, as your acting leader, here are my orders. Retaliate!
So will the delusion. We didn't have any other choice. Don't feel bad, you guys. You were only following my orders. This is entirely on me. Asahi. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what my poor life choices have done to the world outside.
It's all back to the way it should be. Yeah. Every last trace of the delusion is gone. It's been totally nullified. <sighs> Y'all did good. Who the... I was gonna knock you flat on your asses, but I figure I won't. To thank you for taking care of the delusion. Freedom fighters! Still, can't say I expected that you guys would get here and take out the big nasty before we even had the chance. First of all, don't pin this on them. Nullifying the delusion was my call. Mine and mine alone. <laughs> Why the hell are you here anyway? Seems like someone's a few pages back in their class reading. To destroy the delusion! Doi! You beat us to it. We came as soon as we realized the entrance had appeared. Who was the real deluser this time? The source of the delusion? The Bonnie to my Clyde figured it out in no time. Crazy enough turned out to be the president of a big old appliance manufacturer. A real successful one, too. Ain't human greed something? No matter how well off somebody might be, they always want more, more, more. We rushed straight over here once we gave him a little shakedown, but you beat us to the punch. So that's why the door appeared. The Deluser wasn't Hahabu then. In an ambulance. Well now, it seems your ride is here. How nice of you to make preparations in advance. <laughs> what are you yapping on about? Did you hear? There was a jumper on Showa Street. Seriously? Like a suicide attempt? Come on, get with it. It's all over Quipper. A jumper? Oh no. You don't think... Everyone take a look at this. Man jumps onto roadway at Showa Street. Appears to be around 50 years old. What? I have this bad feeling. It's him. It's Hahabu. No. No, it can't be. It sounds like he got hit by a truck. A big one. All because I... Real sad, but it don't matter none. Akihabara's back to the way it ought to be. Yeah, we looked into the guy. Hajime Hahabu. Prez of Hahabu Electronics. Poor guy's business was failing, he was near bankrupt, and his wife and kid had left him. Already on the brink. Then the electronics delusion whooshed on in, and all of a sudden his fortune turned around, back in high spirits. But now that the delusion's gone... Yep, all that's out the window. And so's he. With the delusion destroyed, the electronics boom that saved him never happened. So his life went back to the way it was beforehand. Which led to... Well, this, I guess. That's terrible, though. It's the way things were meant to be. That other life of his wasn't real. He was just playing make-believe. You have no right to say that. Why? Because I'll hurt his dead feelings? Because I'll hurt yours? Don't matter none. We're still going to do what we do. It's for Akihabara. It's all for Akihabara. So because of us... Not us. Me. I'm the one who ordered you all to fight the Grand Phantasm. That's right, Asahi. It's all your fault the delusion has been destroyed. You destroyed it. And in doing so, you've completely changed the course of someone's life. The delusion was spawned by somebody successful. But delusions don't discriminate. And this one here saved the life of somebody who wasn't successful. Fortunate and unfortunate alike are affected by these fantasies. That's the way delusion is. They save some folks, make other folks shine. But we keep on fighting them. Why, you ask? <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? We're the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. That's the whole reason we exist. <laughs>